web application basics. So in this video, I just want to cover the basic knowledge you need to understand in order to build web applications. If you remember, uh, the web was invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, shown right here, and largely, uh, basically, he invented the hypertext transfer protocol, or HTTP. And the way that works is as follows. Uh, let's say this is my laptop here and my laptop is running a web browser program so chrome or edge or something like that and this browser what it's going to do it is going to open up a socket connection over the internet this is our internet here to some other machine which is going to be a server let's say it's google.com com so it's going to open up a socket connection to this machine uh, this at port 80 this machine here is running a web server uh, which is a program that is listening on port 80 whenever somebody connects to it it will then respond using the http protocol so it's expecting http here if you don't give it http it's going to give you an error message and that's basically what the browser does the browser just connects to a web server always at port 80 and uh, request things from that web server which get returned to the browser the browser displays those things to the user and then maybe gets more stuff from the web server or maybe goes to some other web server out there always at port 80 or you know if you're using https is a different port but um, and fetches stuff from that so let's see how that works uh, we can do that uh, by just using the telnet program so telnet uh, lets me open up a socket to any machine in the internet and i'm going to connect to google.com and i'm going to connect to it at port 80. so there i have connected to it if i just type in you know some random stuff like hello google uh, it's going to tell me uh, bad 400 bad requests it's going to say no well, that's not http i don't know what you're saying it's going to say that's a bad request so i have to speak http the which is pretty easy i can just say get slash index.html enter and uh, that's a valid http command it's part of the protocol you can scroll back up here i can see i typed in get index.html and what happens well the server says oh okay 200 okay i understand what you're saying it sends me uh, these headers here, that's what we call them. So it's a key value pairs. There's a date, and expires, and some other stuff, then a blank line, and then the actual index.html file that I requested. So that's basically what the browser does. And then, you know, the, the hard part, of course, is actually turning all this and making it look the way it's supposed to look on your screen, like a pretty web page. So um, nowadays, you know, of course, we don't use telnet we use something like uh, google chrome's dev tools so if you go to google chrome you click anywhere right click anywhere click inspect then you'll get you'll see the dev tools i have a separate video on uh, developer tools but these are the dev developer tools or dev tools so if i click over here in the network tab and i click here on the URL, it'll refetch that page. So I can see uh, here it says, I click on this part here and it says, uh, I just did a get for this URL. So I just tried to get slash in this case. And the response that Google gave me was this. So these are the same response headers you saw over here, right? And then in the first part, uh, DevTools just makes them look pretty, right? Parses them all, puts them all so I can see exactly what's happening. And in this case, the browser actually sent some request headers. So after it did the get, it also sent all this other stuff, which I didn't do on the command line, but the browser does that. That's also part of HTTP. And so I got all that stuff. And then the actual HTML is over here in the response tab. But this is the HTML file that was returned uh, from that get. So that's if you, you click on this first one here. And you notice there's 
all these other ones here, right? Uh, what's going on there? So let me just close that. Uh, there's all these other files and you can sort them by type. So there's different other stuff that's being fetched. So how did that happen? Well, when the browser fetched this first one, it got this response, which is this HTML file. And then inside this, H this HTML file, there's some other, you know, HTML tags that tell it, oh, load this other file and load this other file. So there's these uh, source attributes here that says load various other files. So the browser parse this file and then realize that it needs to load other files. So one thing we can do here is uh, I can click. And you can uh, set what times you want to see. So let's say I only want to see up to here. Right. So if we look at here, if we look at it, click here. So now they're ordered in, you know, as they happened. So the first thing is just downloaded this page here. And then the browser is telling me at first I downloaded this one, then this one, this one. So this looked like maybe they happened in parallel, which you can. And then I downloaded this one. So you see time goes this way. So time is on the horizontal axis. And this is how long it takes. So I downloaded it. Uh, and uh, these are the various parts of downloading it. Once I had downloaded it and I had the content, then it could actually download the next part, this other file. And this file here, you can see is a PNG. So it's just an image. So there was an image tag in the HTML on the original page. The browser is like, oh, we got to download that image. It went and downloaded this image. This is another, this is a GIF, which is another type of image. And these are font files. So I downloaded this font files and downloaded this other image, etc. Then this is a script. So I downloaded that. Um, we can sort by type here. So you can see the basic types that you can download are the document. So this is uh, your HTML files you can download. You can also download images. These are your images. You can download script. This is most, most of the time, this is going to be JavaScript. And this is more HTML here. So HTML images and JavaScript are the three big types of things that you can download. Uh, you can also have uh, the other big one, uh, which is not shown here, is a CSS file. So you can also download a big CSS file. I guess Google inlines their CSS file inside the HTML, so it's not shown there. But uh, the CSS file, so the HTML files give give us the structure of the page. The images are just images. Uh, the JavaScript are programs that will run on the browser. So the browser downloads this these JavaScript programs, which will later, later run on the browser itself as program. And the CSS files are style files that tell the browser how the HTML should look. So they can change things like color and font types. 